Eighth grade, unit one, lesson 15, adding the angles in a triangle. Here's a glossary term that you should know, a straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that forms a straight line. It measures 180 degrees. Number one, in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 40 degrees. A. Give possible measures for angles B and C if triangle ABC is isosceles. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with at least two equal sides. This angle in red would represent angle A of 40 degrees. The bottom angles would represent angles B and C. Since all three of the angles in a triangle will total 180 degrees, I can subtract 40 degrees from 180 degrees, and I get 140 degrees, which would be the combined total of angles B and C. 140 degrees divided by 2 is 70, so angles B and C have a measure of 70 degrees. B. Give possible measures for angles B and C if triangle ABC is a right triangle. So in this scenario, the triangle is a right triangle. Here's an example of a right triangle. And one of the angles in the right triangle has a measure of 90 degrees. The other two angles would be 40 degrees and 50 degrees because 90 plus 40 plus 50 equals 180. In this case, angle B is smaller than angle C. So angle B would be the 40 and angle C would be 50. Number two, for each set of angles, decide if there is a triangle whose angles have these measures in degrees. If you get stuck, consider making a line segment then use a protractor to measure angles with the first two angle measures. A. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees. Well, 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180, or 180 degrees. So the answer would be yes. B. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and 45 degrees. 90 plus 90 plus 45 is greater than 180 degrees, so this would be no. C. 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and 50 degrees. 30 plus 40 plus 50 is less than 180, so this would be no. D. 90 plus 45 plus 45. 90 plus 45 plus 45 is exactly 180, or 180 degrees, so D would be yes. E. 120 plus 30 plus 30. Well, 120 plus 30 plus 30 is exactly 180, so E would also be yes. Number 3. Angle A in triangle ABC is obtuse. Can angle B or angle C be obtuse? Explain your reasoning. No, it is not possible to have more than one obtuse angle in a triangle. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees, and the sum of all three angles must equal 180 degrees. Number four, for each pair of polygons, Describe the transformation that could be applied to polygon A to get to polygon B. A. A translation right 6 units and down 3 units. B. A reflection with a vertical line of reflection halfway between the two polygons. C. 
in 90 degree counterclockwise rotation with the vertex shared by the two polygons as the rotation's center. Number five, on the grid, draw a scaled copy of quadrilateral ABCD using a scale factor of one half. Well, if we're to use a scale factor of one half, that means all the line segments are going to be exactly one half the length of the original copy. 